we are going to do a quick modeling uh, of the head and we are going to do that in Maya so let's boot up Maya now while Maya is booting up you'll want to take a picture in the front view and the side view of your face so take a selfie we'll, we'll take them in class and you want to make sure that you pull out some construction lines or some lines from the uh, from the rulers here and you can show and hide your rulers like so view rulers um, these are actually what you're pulling out are guides so you can actually uh, clear the guides and start new guides but really just drag a guide out from the middle or from the side to snap to the middle so it shows the middle of the picture uh, and then also make some marks for the bottom of the chin the lip the nose the eye uh, so you can have things line up and generally the way this works is you want to have your excuse me here you want to import these images into the image plane so you're going to have the four up view and let's make sure that we set our project so I made a new project and I set it in uh, a new project and I think I'll choose a new folder Maya 2007 I make a week six folder so I'm gonna select that and I create a new project so you can click on this new I'll call this uh, poly poly face and accept that and then I'm going to just grab these two front face pictures copy and these are these pictures here and here and I'm going to file save these I mean first you make sure that they are the right size so they're square 21 by 21 so and when I go to file save as I'm saving a perfectly square image and we want to save these into this uh, week six folder polyface source images and I'm just going to paste them in here so those are uploaded now and then we'll go to Maya and I want to view image plane import image plane there they are uh, so this is the front view so I use the front face this view is the side view so I'm going to use side face on the image plane you see there we go and then I'm just going to create a simple polyplane here and you see it's it's kind of big so we will change this number to one so subdivisions of one and then I'm going to rotate it forward and I'm going to type in 90 and I'm going to bring this using the move tool bring this forward in space if you look in this view I want to bring it up to the bridge of the nose here so grab this put it right up to the bridge of the nose uh, you're only going to model half of the face so hit F to focus in so I'm going to use R or scale the R on my keyboard scale this down a little bit and I'm just going to extrude this edge so I'm going to right click go to edge and I want to extrude this edge out so just like we used extrude before grab this pull this out out of the way and I'm just going to pull this into the eye area and the nice thing about the extrude is it has a scale tool built into it and it has a rotate tool but I'm not going to rotate anything I'm just going to move it to about here and in this view I see I'm going to pull that back towards the eye off the bridge of the nose and then I'm going to extrude that again this time I'm going to extrude it out 
I'm going to scale it down a little bit and I'm going to change this to a local view and I'm going to pull that bridge back a little bit more because I think like the tear, tear duct would be about there. Bring this forward to the edge of the tear duct, click on the scale tool, scale it down a little bit. And I'm going to grab this edge and I'm going to extrude that out along the eye here. So about here, click on the rotate tool and change this from world to local rotate or to world to rotate from local rotate. That way I can get a nice flat rotation. And I want to rotate this so I'm going to move it. So I grab the move tool here. And then I'm going to grab this edge again, and I'm going to back to scale. Let's make this full screen. And I'm going to pull this over here, across the top of the eye. See the angle is wrong, so we want to click this. So we get the rotate. So this is intersecting the eye. We get our move tool, so it's about there. And then we're going to scale it down a little bit. And I'm going to grab that edge and I'm going to pull this out again to the edge of the eye. I know this seems like a lot of work for one eye, but you're going to see in a minute that we are going to use this more than one time. And then extrude that again. Change this to local. Sorry, world. And rotate this like so and a shortcut is actually the letter G on your keyboard oh, I don't know because it's again I guess a G again I don't know why it's a G but just take my word for it if you hit G you will actually do whatever it is you did all the last time again so since we've been using the poly extrude you can actually just hit G and it will extrude it again so move that over Rotate this around, move this a little bit, and then I'm going to weld these two points into that point. So this is the last time, G for extrude. I'm going to pull this out and over, and this time it doesn't really matter. I don't have to get it exact because I'm going to move it as close as I can. Zoom in tight. Hit F to zoom in right click go to vertex choose these two vertices grab this vertex hit the w key to move it move it close to that one grab this vertex move it close to that one grab them both go to uh, basically edit mesh and i'm going to merge those two and i'm going to actually have to turn this tolerance up a little bit to about one click on merge and boom i'm merged, merged. this one again edit mesh merge Move this over, you can actually see it. See, I'm turned up a little bit. Click merge, boom, snap together. So now I can actually click these edges. Uh, okay, one, two, holding the shift key, three, to make sure you're selecting all of these edges. So I see this slightly orangey pink color on the outside now. So now if I extrude all of those at once, from the center of the eye using this world tool. Boom, scaled out, right? So I can start to scale this out to the size of the entire face. And that's good. Let's so now go to vertex again. Try to grab this vertex and this vertex. I'm gonna merge this vertex into that one. I'm going to go to wireframe mode for a second by hitting 4 on my keyboard. Go back to shaded mode, I'm hitting 5 on my keyboard. And I can move that close to this one, select them both, and try to merge them. Now, I know that it's not going to work, because if you look here, no, it might work. They might be too far away. So edit mesh, merge. Merge. Good. These two. Merge. Edit mesh. Merge. Merge. 
there we go so I'm starting to get an eye now look at the side view here didn't quite try to put these points on the face as much as I should for example the top of the eyebrow here probably should come forward you can tell that because see we're starting to get a the beginnings of a face now funny story the eye is just like the mouth it's an orifice in your face I know that it sounds funny but it is true so all I can do is copy this hit F8 my keyboard to go back to, to shape mode and you see I just have this polyplane I'm gonna duplicate this plane control D and uh, click this object let's go to edit duplicate okay so now I got a plane plane one plane two so plane one I'm going to grab and move it down here and I'm going to start to use this to make the mouth right and then I have another one plane two I'm going to move this and scale this down to create the nostril right just one nostril one mouth there okay and I'm going to uh, grab some faces here and I'm going to delete all these faces because I'm just going to use half of this I'm going to snap these points down here and I'm going to make just one half of a face okay then I'm going to come back later and just copy the face over so the nice thing about this is you can actually use your key the arrow keys on your keyboard just to key around up down it's it's just as simple as you think it is left is left right is right up is up down is down sometimes it gets confusing because especially if you go around a corner like that so let's pull these into the corner of the mouth pull this into the corner of the mouth pull this into the corner of the mouth very simple and I'm doing this pretty quickly uh, generally you want to do this slow and steady and pull down a little bit with the lip here right this one actually goes out a little bit vertex pull this in so it's tight corner of the lip so you can see you can start to sketch out a face um, I'm just gonna go a little faster here for a second these two objects if they become the same object see how this edge can extrude up into that edge so let's go mesh boolean union so now you see these objects are the same so if I select this plane 4 it's actually the same object so what you can do is start to bridge create a bridge between two sets of edge faces so I could say create uh, say edge here this edge and this edge and then bridge the two and it'll automatically bridge it now you can add a taper you can add a twist you can bridge the, the offset here change my divisions to three I have a couple divisions and I can right click that vertex and sort of move that around to make sort of a facey looking face right. make sort of the piece of a cheekbone there and you can see how you can start to model your own face pretty quickly there now this is very flat so you might want to I right clicked on this to get vertex pull this back a little bit instead of forward it depends on which edge that you're on you have to double check so if you're on this outside edge that is right this would be down here but this edge right here you might want to pull back a bit further you can also walk up and down with your uh, with your arrows So this edge since it's on the nose I want to pull it up towards the nose this edge I want to pull it underneath the nose on this view, I want to pull it up actually up and underneath the nose. So, you guys get the picture here. 
the, the point is that all these things are concentric circles. These are concentric, these are concentric, this is concentric. And then we have these offshoots. That, you see how this would eventually, if I'd wanted to edge one, two, I could bridge between those two edges. Granted, I wouldn't want to do it that quickly. Divisions three, and I could do a twist or a taper or a, a tangent source, uh, a bridge offset. I could basically start to pull those edges out. So say these want to be out here. This wants to be out here. Then I can come back in and button these up by doing this merge edge with that merge edge tool. And then we'd grab these edges and merge edge. So you can select two, here's a trick. Scale them down so they're close together, then choose that uh, merge tool. Select these two, hit R on your keyboard, scale them down close, edit mesh and merge. Scale these two, scale them down, edit mesh, and merge. That way, I can start to build my face out. And once these are all together, you can get even more exciting. But for now, that's a good basic beginning. So take a look, try it out, tell me how it goes, and uh, make a face.